And they're always arguing with every decision I tell them. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Don't. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? We'll, we'll never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. At least she's okay. Let's just take a check up on the others and see what they think of all this whole situation. It, it's not a good feeling, though, to have a soldier die under your command, I gotta say. If I was a general for real, that is one of the hard things. I just don't think I could handle that. People dying under your command. That's another thing if the zombie apocalypse ever did happen. Not saying it would happen, guys, just saying it was possible. If it did, and say for example, somehow I was in charge. I doubt I'd be in charge because no one actually listens to me right now, to be honest. But if I was, I think it would be extremely hard whenever we receive losses. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Captain Kirahi will be missed, but many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Okay. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. It's understandable. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So will so I. Long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. About Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Williams. We'll remember him later. Yeah. A good guy like him must be with God now, huh? 
so nothing to be sad about. He must be happier. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Any time. Ma'am. Feel bad for her right now. Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh, goodbye. I said that because it's basically repeating the same thing. If you say, oh, for what? And then it's like he says, for oh, everything, and, you know, the same thing as last time, basically. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Not nothing I should anymore. go. See you later. <sighs> it's, a, it's a very dark time indeed, isn't it, guys? Very dark. Okay, now that we've done all that, we can go on to our next mission. I have checked everyone's weapons and armor. Everyone's got the top armor they can have, or the strongest than that. Um, I've got rid of all the upgrades or anything we're not using. So basically, anything we're not using, I've got rid of now. Update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Really? Let's go. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. I thought he was going to go and investigate the thing first. Okay. Let's get our Citadel. I gotta say, I'm, I have lost my patience completely with the council though. That one, the Turian for example, no matter what it is, always against me. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the council's finally taking real action against Saren. The ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible through the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Send me after him. One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Don't you get like Your that on me, man. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Excuse me? You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Yeah, all about you, man. Can't believe him. This is probably his plan at the very beginning to take over. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. The idiots. I showed them the truth and they still won't believe. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. There are bigger issues. I'm doomed the galaxy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. 
So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? Is there another way? Because I can see it. I have to honestly, I can't see any other way. If I was sure, I'd probably be drinking nowhere. Nor me. Jeez, I'd probably be just drinking this going, What's the point? The world's coming. I might as well just give up, people. There's no other way. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Thank you, Liara. Ooh. At least it was actually there. <laughs> oh, God. Are we gonna get some action? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Joker! A message from Captain <laughs> <Anderson>. <laughs> oh. Give me the message. Were, were you listening in? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Oh, right now. Can't we, can that wait? <laughs> okay, let's take Liara and Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior. God, Joker, you know when to jump in, don't you? Logged. The commanding okay. officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Yeah. I swear, if I could, I'd go right to our ambassador. I would freaking check, 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 get up to his ass and blow his balls off. I don't know how that would work, but it would, I'll make it work. Nobody does this to me. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Kahoku mm, is survived are. by his wife Can and I three children who are planning a small private Gareth, memorial you service. Don't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Blame Joker. He, he, got, he ruined everything. He's <laughs> oh. oh, well. Who knows? We might get another chance later. Hopefully, Ara still likes me by then. But what if Garrus takes her away from me? What if Garrus asks her out and says to her he loves her more than I do? What will happen then, guys? Then I'll be alone, and Garrus will have everything. So you gotta go to the club, okay. Which club again? I think in the first one. Let's go to the den. That makes me nervous though, the Joker thing. Does he all? Can he actually see everything? I wonder. I, mean, I bet you he actually like lost it. Watches his camera going. Ooh, is somebody getting busy on our, our ship? Ooh, I'm gonna watch this. Am I even film this for my own amusement? Oh god. I found if, I, if my character did find out something like that, he would be straight to the firing pit. If we had one. Now where is the captain? That's not you. This was the place, right? Really? Yes, he's in the he is in the club. But it has to be the one that I don't think of first. Ah it Would it be easy if we went to the actual one? That's the first one we actually like talked about before, you know. I suppose he probably likes the other one better. Let's go to the flux. What's going on? Yeah, what is it? What happened? How you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Explain. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. 
I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Now, see ya. Not gonna help a cheetah. No. Hey, good to see you okay, where is he now? Uh, Anderson. Where are you? I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. I gotta say, why do I like his voice? I feel like his voice is perfect for acting. You know, he feels like, it's a voice you feel like you need in a film? I don't know why, he has one of those specific voices where you feel like he's one of the best actors. I don't know why, I just do. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected. Like Robin, Robin Williams, like, Citadel he had great voices. Out all the Normandy's systems. Jim Kyle is good as well. Orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. The Evans. You can be in the Terminus systems Alice before Wolfnager. anyone even knows you're gone. He was very good, I gotta say, before. I do feel like he's not as good as he was before, though. I know he's old, he can't help that. But I miss the old him, to be honest. If we steal the Normandy... You're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Thank you. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh... You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Ready. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. You know, every time you hear the word Joker, it always reminds me of Batman. <laughs> always. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Yeah. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time... Where's I says differently? Look at him. He looks on stimulus drugged. To the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong. Where's I? He looks high. Maybe I've myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. 
You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Yeah, day that guy's been an idiot. Ugh.